Hello, my name is R.J. Malteri. I'm an assistant dean with the School of Architecture and Planning at the University at Buffalo. Welcome to this University at Buffalo curriculum tutorial on completing the pathways for students in the Bachelor of Arts in Environmental Design. This tutorial will help you complete important requirements for the University at Buffalo curriculum general education program. The UB curriculum pathways will allow for you to develop a deeper knowledge base and learn different approaches to a specific area of academic inquiry related to your studies. Students will only complete one global pathway and only one thematic pathway for your University at Buffalo degree. Each pathway requires three courses for a total of nine credits. Completion of the Pathfinder tool is required for future and continued financial aid eligibility. Students in the Bachelor of Arts in Environmental Design will select one of the following thematic pathways. These pathways build off of courses you will complete as environmental design majors. These thematic pathways include communities, populations, and spaces, or environment, technology, and policy, or cultures, art, and imagination, or equality, power, and justice. Along with your thematic pathway, you will complete a global pathway. Again, you will select a global pathway based upon courses that build off of degree requirements for your Bachelor of Arts in Environmental Design. These pathways will include global cultures and expressions or global economies and organizations. Using these pathways will allow for you to begin a minor in year two of your studies as a University at Buffalo student. The first step in completing your pathways is logging into the University at Buffalo Pathfinder tool with your University at Buffalo IT name and password. You will go to the URL located on the screen. Once you have logged in, you will be at the Pathfinder page. The Pathfinder screen will look like the screen in front of you currently. Again, completion of the Pathfinder is required for continued financial aid eligibility and completion of the Pathfinder, depending upon the courses selected, will allow for you to begin a minor as early as your second year of study while a, as a University at Buffalo student. First, let's go about completing your thematic pathway. You'll select the thematic pathway topic using the Pathfinder tool. You'll select one of the following thematic pathway topics listed below for students in the Bachelor of Arts in Environmental Design. These pathways again include communities, populations, and spaces, or environment, technology, and policy, or cultures, art, and imagination, or equality, power, and justice. After selecting one of those thematic pathways, you will now select a course from the List 1 category in the Pathfinder tool. Your List 1 course will be selected based on your environmental design degree requirements. Your List 1 course will be Environmental Design 120, Introduction to Urban Environments. Environmental Design 120 counts in all four thematic pathways. Again, those include communities, populations, and spaces, environment, technology, and policy, 
cultures, art, and imagination, and equality, power, and justice. Once you have selected your List 1 course in a thematic pathway, you will then move down to the List 2 category. Again, your List 2 course will be typically based on a course you will complete as a Bachelor of Arts in Environmental Design major. You have two course options. You can select either Architecture 122, Architectural Sketching and the Built Environment, or Architecture 211, American Diversity and Design. Architecture 122, Architectural Sketching and the Built Environment, will fulfill the pathways for communities, populations, and spaces, environment, technology, and policy, and cultures, art, and imagination, while Architecture 211 fulfills the pathway requirements for communities, populations, and spaces, environment, technology, and policy, or equality, power, and justice. Please note, all environmental design majors should complete Architecture 122 prior to completing Environmental Design 360, Environmental Design Workshop 2. Now that you've selected your List 2 course for your thematic pathway, you will move down to the List 3 course category. Your List 3 course will be self-selected by you based upon the courses offered in that thematic pathway and your individual interests. Please note, courses with prerequisites will not typically be open to architecture or environmental design students unless they have an ARC, A-R-C, or E-N-D prefix attached to the course. In addition, all List 3 courses must be completed at the University at Buffalo. List 3 courses cannot be completed at other colleges and then transferred back to the University at Buffalo. This is a UB curriculum general education requirement. Again, the List 3 pathways for students in the Bachelor of Arts in Environmental Design include communities, populations and spaces, environment, technology and policy, cultures, art and imagination, and equality, power and justice. A tip or suggestion would be, where possible, select a course that you can also use for a minor from list three, where possible. By using a course, from list three that you may also be able to use for a minor, you will be able to use one course to fulfill two different requirements. Again, building off of your major and minor requirements, making it easier for you to complete both your major, your minor, and your University at Buffalo curriculum requirements. After you've selected your List 3 course in the Pathfinder tool, you will then click on the blue Select These Courses button. You will see that at the bottom of the List 3 course options. This is what a completed thematic pathway will look like. Using the example of Environment Technology and Policy, and given an interest in completing an architecture minor, I use the courses including Environmental Design 120, Introduction to Urban Environments, which is a required course for the Environmental Design Bachelor of Arts degree. I selected Architecture 122, Architectural Sketching, because it also fulfills both a requirement for the architecture minor, as well as a University at Buffalo curriculum general education requirements, 
as well as Preparation for Environmental Design 360, Workshop 2. As for my List 3 course, I selected Architecture 280, Environment and Landscape, Discovering Landscape Design, so I'm then able to use that course for both my Architecture Minor as well as fulfilling my University at Buffalo curriculum thematic pathway requirement. You could have this thematic pathway completed in your first two semesters as a University at Buffalo student. So next, now that we've completed your thematic pathway, we're now going to move on to your global pathway. You will select a global pathway topic, again, using the Pathfinder tool. You will select from either global cultures or from global economies. Again, these pathways build off of courses you will complete for your Bachelor of Arts in Environmental Design. After you selected your global pathway topic, you will then select the course for list one out of the list one course category. Most students will select Architecture 121, Introduction to Architecture. Introduction to Architecture, Architecture 121, counts in both global cultures as well as global economies. Upon selecting your List 1 course for your pathway, you will then move on and select a List 2 course in the Pathfinder for your global pathway, either global cultures or global economies. Based upon the requirements for the Environmental Design major and or the Architecture minor, you have two course options. You can select either Architecture 231 Architecture History Ancient through 1450 or Environmental Design 357 Problem Solving for Global Environments. Environmental Design 357 will count for both the Environmental Design Bachelor of Arts degree, for the Architecture Minor, as well as for your List 2 Global Pathway. This is an example of one course that can fulfill three different University at Buffalo degree requirements. Architecture 231 can count both towards your architecture minor as well as your University at Buffalo global pathway requirement. Once you have selected your List 2 course in the Pathfinder tool, you will then go on and select a third Global Cultures or Global Economies course in the Pathfinder from List 3. The List 3 course will be self-selected from you based upon the courses in that Global Pathway. Again, as previously mentioned, courses with prerequisites will typically not be available to architecture or environmental design students, and List 3 courses must always be completed at the University at Buffalo. However, if you anticipate applying for a University at Buffalo Summer Abroad Studio, upon completion of Environmental Design 350, Workshop 1, and Environmental Design 360, Workshop 2, you will select OPR 400. If you are not planning on completing a summer abroad program, you will again need to select a List 3 course from the Pathfinder tool. Once you've selected that List 3 course, again, you will then click on the blue Select These Courses icon at the bottom of the list three course options.
Once you've completed both your thematic pathway and your global pathway, your Pathfinder tool will look like the example or something similar to what you see on the screen in front of you. Again, based upon my interests in possibly doing both the Environmental Design Bachelor of Arts degree as well as an Architecture minor, I selected Environment Technology and Policy for my thematic pathway using Environmental Design 120, Architecture 122, and Architecture 280. For my global pathway, I opted for Global Cultures and Expressions. In this example, I used Architecture 121 for my List 1 course, Architecture 231 for my List 2 course, and since I know I'm not planning on completing a summer abroad studio through the University at Buffalo, I selected Media Study 333 World Cinema. That course is offered fall, winter, spring, and summer, making it fairly easy for me to complete that requirement. At this point, you now need to make sure you save your completed Pathfinder to Hub. You'll need to click on the red Save to Hub button in the Pathfinder. Your financial aid award and financial aid eligibility will depend upon you saving the completed Pathfinder to Hub. Again, also, depending upon the courses you select, this will allow for you to begin working on a minor as early as your second year of study as a University at Buffalo student. Again, it is very easy to forget to save this information to Hub, so please, upon completion of both your thematic pathway and your global pathway, make sure to click on the red Save to Hub button in the Pathfinder tool. That will save this information to your Academic Advisement Report, which is used by academic advisors to help keep track of your progress for degree, which is used by the Office of the Registrar to help keep track of your progress to degree, and is used by the Office of Financial Aid to help keep track of your progress to degree. It will also allow for you to help keep track yourself through your academic advisement reports on what UB curriculum courses you still need to complete for your University at Buffalo degree. So in summary, once you have planned out and selected your thematic pathway in the Pathfinder tool and your global pathway in the Pathfinder tool and selected all of the courses necessary, you will then click on the red Save to Hub button. And at that point, you are all set. The earlier you identify what pathways you're completing and what courses you're going to be using, will allow for you to begin working on a minor in year two. Ideally, you always want to select courses that build off of your requirements for the Bachelor of Arts in Environmental Design, as well as a minor you are interested in completing as a University at Buffalo student. Remember, saving your Pathfinder and your Pathways to your Hub Student Center by clicking on the red Save the Hub button is important for continued financial aid eligibility. For additional information about completing the pathways, visit the undergraduate catalog or contact an advisor. This is going to give you an idea of what a completed Pathfinder will look like. And again, please remember to save your Pathfinder to Hub. You can always change what your Pathfinder courses are, especially the list three courses, depending upon course availability and depending upon what you may decide you want to complete a minor in. You can change your Pathfinder daily. It's just always important to remember to always update your Pathfinder and save the revised Pathfinder to Hub by clicking on the red Save to Hub icon.
the more courses you use that are required for both your environmental design Bachelor of Arts degree as well as a possible minor you'd like to complete, the easier it will be to complete both your major, your minor, and your University at Buffalo curriculum requirements. Finally, I want to review one other topic with you. All University at Buffalo students must fulfill the Communication Literacy 1 and 2 requirements. The vast majority of students will complete Communication Literacy 1 upon taking English 105 Writing and Rhetoric. However, students may have fulfilled this requirement by having U.S. College Transfer Credit for English 105 or AP English Exam Credit with a score of 4 or 5 or an SAT English Writing and Reading score or ACT score that is high enough to waive them out of English 105. All students need to complete Communication Literacy 2 at the University of Buffalo. Again, this is not a course you can complete at another college and transfer back to the University at Buffalo. This is a course you must complete at the University at Buffalo to fulfill University at Buffalo curriculum requirements. The courses in italics are suggested courses for students completing the Environmental Design Bachelor of Arts degree. For additional information, check out the undergraduate catalog or contact an advisor. Thank you very much for participating in today's tutorial on the University of Buffalo curriculum and completing the pathways for Bachelor of Arts in Environmental Design students. Again, my name is RJ Malteri. I'm an Assistant Dean with the School of Architecture and Planning. If you have any questions about completing the pathways, please contact us. Our email address is located on each slide of today's presentation. Again, thanks for participating and have a great day.